So today we're gonna dive deep into growing your email list by leveraging a social media contest. We're gonna go into the who, what, when, where, why, and how to get a contest set up so that you succeed. Contests are a great way to grow your email list. And so today I'm gonna to dive deep into the who, what, when, where, why, and how to grow your email list. The first and most important thing is understand who. Who is your ideal client? Contests are a great way to grow your email list, especially when you're preparing for a launch or a new product release. So I want you to think about who is that ideal client for that upcoming launch. And the who is so important, understanding their age, where they're at in their life, how you can render them better off, how your product or service is gonna help them achieve their goals, and all of that fun stuff in between. So understand who that ideal client is to set yourself up for success when it comes to creating a contest. The next thing to think about is what are you gonna give away on the contest? For me, many times, I like to give a product paired with a service. So I am generally a service-based business, so I really like to give away, say, a Yeti microphone with a podcast setup, because those two things really create and set somebody up for success. So think about what it is in your business that's gonna help somebody achieve their goal and get them closer to where they wanna be. It doesn't have to be a gigantic prize, like I just said, like a Yeti microphone and a podcast setup. It could be something smaller. It's so important to make sure whatever you're giving away is an of enough value so people will give you their email address. The next thing to consider is when. When are the dates? What is the start date? What is the end date? When are you giving this away? I highly recommend seven to 10 days for a giveaway. Any longer than that and people start to lose interest and any shorter than that, there tends to not be enough time for it to really get some virality on social media. The next thing to think about is how. How do you enter? What do you need to do to enter? What are all the steps that they need to take? We use an awesome software called King Sumo, which really streamlines the entry process and even selects the winner of the contest for you. All you have to do is enter the data in and voila, you're good to go. People can even get extra entries by following you on social media or following your podcast or leaving your review. There's lots of different ways in King Sumo which you can add on additional entries so that people can get multiple entries into winning your contest. The next one is where. Where are you going to be having the contest held? If you're doing an email contest, like to grow your email list, and you want to leverage social media, I highly recommend you put it out on all your platforms. If you have a podcast, talk about it on your podcast. If you have a YouTube series, talk about it in your YouTube series. Spread it out on every single platform. You can also offer people additional entries for sharing it on Facebook, which I highly recommend that you do, but be sure to have a plan in place for how you're going to distribute this on social media when it comes to having a marketing plan with a contest. This is a period of time where you're gonna promote, promote, promote. So don't be ashamed to promote. Be sure to send it to your email list because those people, even though they're already on your email list, should have the opportunity to enter. And remember, when you're using a piece of software like King Sumo, you can get them to cross pollinate onto other platforms. So maybe they didn't even know that you had a podcast or maybe they didn't know you had a YouTube channel and they can get additional points and bonuses and entries into the contest simply for signing up and then following the instructions in King Sumo. So don't forget, you gotta spread that everywhere. And then the most important thing to remember is why would somebody want to enter this contest in the first place? Every time I run a contest, I always do a Facebook Live. I always add it into my podcast, but specifically a Facebook Live. And why I do a Facebook Live is because people can see me, they can connect with me, and I can really share my passion and enthusiasm for why they should sign up and you can showcase the products and services that you're giving away. So for me, I will literally show the Yeti microphone that we're gonna give away, or the series of books, or whatever it is, and I will connect with the person on the other side of the social media to pull them in and get them to take action. Because remember, when you're running a contest, it's for a short period of time, and you really wanna promote, 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 
but people have to understand why they should join in the first place. So don't forget to include that in your marketing, on your entry page, and in all of the collateral that you do, and be sure to be authentic. Now that you know the ins and outs of running a contest on social media to grow your online email marketing list, it's time to let me know and share your contest below.